Okay, as mentioned in the last video, I'm gonna go through by week what you're receiving, and hopefully in doing this, I can add in a little bit of extra dialogue that helps tie everything together for you. So for 252, starting with week one, you guys will receive your lesson with the parent cue. You're going to receive an all the feels story. You'll get all the feels cards. And I let you guys know in the lessons that we cut out one for each kid, but it was just too confusing for us to cut along all the lines and clip together a set for each kiddo. So that weekend, each kid can quickly cut out their card. So there's one of those per kid. And then we added in a made in-house craft for Creed. We're gonna have our 252 kids learning the Apostles Creed in um, April. So each kid will get one of these and then they get popsicle sticks. There's two per kiddo and there's strings so the kids can color these, popsicle stick on top and bottom. And then you guys can attach a piece of string to the back so it can hang with either glue dots or regular glue or someone wants to bring in a glue gun from home for the adults to use. And lastly, you're getting an inflatable globe. Week two, let's dig down to the bottom. We've got our lesson, the parent cues, and then you're receiving a promises pairs cheat sheet. I made one of these for each of your small group leaders um, just so that in case they aren't sure for that activity which pairs go together, they've got a quick cheat sheet for themselves to use during that lesson. And those promises pairs are right here. Once again, if you guys can cut that for your small group leaders that weekend, the kids can cut their own on the week one, but if you can cut this for your small group leaders, and I mentioned that on your list, and then you get a donkey head template for each kiddo a brown paper bag for each kid, piece of felt. It says yarn, but I'll get to that in a second. A set of googly eyes for each kid. So that activity, I mentioned on the lesson that it's a little bit more challenging. And so I gave you all the supplies for the original activity. But when I made one, I was like, I think a lot of kids will like this, but not every room would be able to do this. So I gave you guys an adapted um, option for this craft and you guys would need to provide large popsicle sticks for that. Um, and I, oh, I just realized I didn't mention that on here. So I will try to make a note. I've already printed all of these off, but I'll try to make a note somewhere for you guys on that. Um, and then on your purchase list, it tells you to purchase a ball of yarn for the Yonkey Deployed activity. If you choose to do that activity differently, you can decide whether you wanna purchase the yarn or not. And then you'll also receive two or three little crepe paper streamers. And lastly, you guys will need to gather some construction paper and then on your purchase list is painter sticks. Hopefully that'll make sense. Week three, sorry, I need another hand when I do this. Week three, you've got your lesson and your parent cues. And this week is Easter. You have a super fun craft that I'm excited about. Once again, made in house by Creative. They did an awesome job. Um, this is a Creed stained glass sheet. Each kiddo gets one. And what's great about it is it's a color by number and the kids get to pick their own color scheme and then they'll do this color by number and it reveals the word creed. Um, so each kid gets one of these on your purchase list. I asked each campus to purchase, if needed, a um, pack of multicolor um, permanent markers. So like a big pack, 15 to 20 pack of permanent markers for the kids to use in the room on coloring those because these 
are printed on transparencies. So they'll be see-through and up against a window, they'll be actually like stained glass. And then you'll get an alternative eggs template, some washi tape, and then these Easter egg cubes activity page. So this was an activity that just ended up being too challenging. It had too many allergy risks involved. So we cut it, but I still sent you guys the story picture cards because I thought that if your small group leader would want to use them, it could be a good tool with helping reiterate the story or maybe they could come up with a simple, easy activity around this. And once again, that is mentioned in the lesson plan as well. And lastly, week four, you've got your lessons, your parent cue, you'll get five black file folders. You're gonna get a couple sets of these who, what, when, where, why cards. And they probably are separated with who, what, when, where, and then the, the how and whys at the back. So one set is a full who, what, when, where, why. And you'll need to cut these because then each file folder gets one who, what, when, where, why. So when we printed these, we printed more than we needed because I was silly and I read the lesson wrong. So you're probably gonna get more of these than you need, but that just means that if you need a new set for the next version of experience, you've got some backups. So there's that. You have a Bright Sides card activity page and then some birthday candles. There's one per kid. And you guys, that weekend, we'll need to make sure that there is butcher paper or craft paper in the room. I think that that is everything. Oh, I did skip a few things on week three. So week three, jumping back to Easter real quick. That weekend on your guys' purchase list is jelly beans for an activity. And so with that activity, you'll need to make sure that you've got some paper bowls, and in one of those paper bowls, you're gonna write the memory verse, which I don't have on the top of my head right now, but you'll write the memory verse in there and then you'll fill that bowl up with jelly beans and then you'll have one paper bowl that's empty and then you'll need some plastic spoons. And I think that that is everything for real this time. Thanks guys.